Good evening on Tuesday evening. Well, markets have been really, really exciting yesterday. What a day yesterday. Just because of Trump and his tweets over China again. What a day yesterday. 1,000 points, 950 point drop down. That was quite a drop yesterday. There's a massive move in gold. Gold was up 25 bucks yesterday, so uh, maybe you made some money if you were trading yesterday. But um, there will be quite a few big trends, I think, coming out of this. You know, these moves. There's a lot going on here. It's a real big picture here coming together. And these are global things around the whole world. They're interconnected. Things like the Chinese PLA going into Hong Kong and um, taking over Hong Kong. If Hong Kong unpegs from the US dollar, then uh, this is going to have massive implications. And all around the world, these currencies are collapsing against the US dollar. And all that money is going to panic and it's going to go somewhere and it's all going to come to dollars. Because you just think, if Chinese take over Hong Kong, then that money from Hong Kong is going to go to Singapore or it's going to go to the US. It's going to go to somewhere. And uh, this is going to cause a, a global liquidity shortage in dollars because all this money is going to go to the dollar and there's not going to be enough dollars so you're going to have a liquidity shortage in dollars so I think that all this money coming into the US could push US stocks a lot higher and drive them up to stratosphere levels really, you know, but uh, we've got some great trends, the best thing, best of the best trade at the moment has got to be gold, it's absolutely cooking, it consolidated, it made a base at 1400 and she's now taking off high, I think 1500 soon, people were saying 1500, 1600 by the year end target, but um, I think we're going a lot higher than that. I think year end we could be 2,000 plus, seriously. And that's, I really don't think that's a lot, you know, with everything that's going on in the world. But um, I'm questioning the, um, the indices and the markets going down because what you've got to take into account is if that money's coming, from the Indian rupee, it's coming from Hong Kong, it's coming from all these places, it's going to drive the US stocks up, because it's going to go somewhere, it's going to go into uh, government bonds or stocks or something like this, so uh, I'm not so quick to short this move yesterday, um, it was a great move yesterday, we're bouncing now, not a lot happening right now, um, the pound is up, uh, the market is up, gold is just sitting pretty, um, not so much happening, but uh, the far the best trade is gold by a long shot, um, copper short, there's some very interesting things going on at the moment, and uh, we'll see what happens with the market, if we get a nice retracement, I uh, may go short, but um, um, you want to be careful, to be honest with you. You want to be careful until September, because until the, the volume comes back from what I call the whales, and when I talk about the whales, I'm talking about the big, big fund managers that put that volume into the market. If that volume isn't there, you're not going to have that oomph to really drive these trends and drive these trades forward because you need that volume because that's going to give us the, the confirmation you know because with, the, with these August days normally seasonally 
in August. You've got um, very low volume, no reliability, no reliability of the moves, and uh, you've really, really got to be careful. So, um, very interesting move you see caused by Trump, but uh, we will see if it plays out. But remember, before you go jumping in, think, get your confirmation, get your setup right. Yeah, the current uh, trend on the on the markets is down. The current trend on that gold is up. But don't be so quick to jump in. You know, just be a little question a little bit. Think, you know, think a little bit more. Maybe I know too much, but uh, but seasonally, this time of year in August, it's quite it's low volume. Like I say, because most of the big traders have gone away to the Hamptons or to the lake, to the hefts in the forest, you know, and uh, they're not trading. So um, be very careful. But, uh, the best trade is buy gold, get on gold. Tomorrow I've got a very important announcement. I will tell you something very exciting. I'm going to tell you about a way that you can find out about a lot of businesses and how you can make money and how you can start some things for absolutely free I'm going to tell you tomorrow so please watch tomorrow's video I've been busy working on that that's why I haven't made a video a couple of days apologies for that um, please uh, hit the subscribe and uh, be careful in the markets there are exciting things going to happen really there's some big big opportunities but uh, have a look at my website um, I'm not sure if it's, uh, I'll put a link under the video so you can go and have a look but a uh, big announcement tomorrow um, take care speak to you tomorrow bye for now